Self-reflection, or the urge to individuation, gathers together what is scattered and multifarious and exalts it. In this way, our existence as separate beings, our former ego nature, is abolished. The circle of consciousness is widened. And because the paradoxes have been made conscious, the sources of conflict are dried up. Carl Jung, Psychology and Religion. Envision yourself on the brink of a vast ocean, the waters of your inner world rippling before you. This sea is not just a body of water, but a mirror to your soul, reflecting the depths of your desires, passions, and the essence of who you truly are. It is here in the depths of our own being that we uncover the hidden treasures that Swiss psychiatrist and father of psychoanalysis Carl Jung spoke of in his exploration of the psyche. This journey of discovery, known as the process of individuation, is an expedition towards understanding and embracing the totality of our existence. This voyage is not for the faint-hearted. It demands courage, honesty, and a willingness to confront the unknown. As we traverse this inner landscape, we learn to harmonize the myriad aspects of our personality, integrating them into a cohesive whole. This is the heart of Jungian philosophy, a quest for authenticity where the unification of our diverse selves leads to a profound awakening of our true potential. Welcome to Pondering Psyche, where we dive deep into psychology, philosophy, and big ideas that make you go, hmm. I am your host, a doctoral candidate in depth psychology and comparative religion and mythology, here to guide you through the secret of how to achieve your true self, unveiling the profound journey of individuation as envisioned by Carl Jung. Why should individuation matter to you? Because deciphering the enigma of our concealed self promises not just self-discovery, but the emergence of a more enriched and vibrant being. So join us as we unravel the path to a holistic self. Here, in the heart of our fears and shadows, lies the luminous key to our most profound transformation and becoming. Know Yourself Central to Jung's concept of individuation is the notion that self-awareness is not merely an intellectual exercise, but a deeply intuitive process that empowers us to mine the depths of our psyche. Along these lines, Jung once remarked, Your vision will become clear only when you look into your own heart. Who looks outside dreams? Who looks inside awakes? Letters, Volume 2, page 33. These words encapsulate the essence of his teachings, emphasizing the transformative power of introspection in awakening our true selves. Through introspection, we are able to peel back the layers of conditioning and societal expectations to reveal the essence of our being. In this pursuit, Jung encourages us to embrace all aspects of ourselves both light and dark, as true awareness arises from the integration of our conscious and unconscious selves, allowing us to embrace our wholeness and authenticity. Ultimately, Jung's teaching remind us that the path to uncovering our true potential and calling in life begins with a journey inward. Through unwavering self-awareness and deep introspection, we navigate the labyrinth of the psyche, unlocking the hidden treasures of our soul in embracing the fullness of our being. Authenticity over conformity. In our quest for authenticity, we confront the stark reality that being true to oneself is often more daunting than the grandest adventures into the unknown. Carl Jung captured this essence when he stated, it is easier to go to Mars or to the moon than it is to penetrate one's own being. Carl Jung and Hermann Hesse by Miguel Serrano. This profound observation underscores the intricate challenge of self-discovery, suggesting that delving into the depths of our own identity can be more complex than the most ambitious space explorations. Take, for example, a salesperson in the corporate world, where numbers and targets often define success. Amid the pressure to conform to aggressive sales tactics and the relentless pursuit of quotas, choosing to maintain integrity and authenticity 
can sometimes feel like charting a course to an unexplored galaxy. This salesperson, opting for honesty and genuine connection with clients over manipulative strategies, embarks on a profound internal journey. This path requires navigating through layers of professional and societal expectations, personal values, and the fear of underperformance. By aligning with authenticity over conformity, the salesperson not only challenges the status quo, but also reinforces the importance of integrity in a results-driven environment. Jung's insight here illuminates the internal voyage of discovering and honoring one's true self despite external pressures. This example encourages us to explore our inner landscape with courage and conviction revealing that the path to our authentic selves is both the most challenging and rewarding exploration we can undertake. Embrace your passions. To pursue our passions is to embark on a journey both arduous and invigorating, one that demands the full engagement of our being. It is not simply a matter of indulgence, but a profound commitment to authenticity and the unveiling of our deepest potential. Carl Jung vividly captured this duality in his observation. The artist's life cannot be otherwise than full of conflicts, for two forces are at war within him or her. On the one hand, the common human longing for happiness, satisfaction, and security in life, and on the other, a ruthless passion for creation, which may go so far as to override every personal desire. There are hardly any exceptions to the rule that a person must pay dearly for the divine gift of creative fire. Carl Jung, Modern Man in Search of Soul. Picture the entrepreneur whose drive to innovate disrupts not only markets but also the personal equilibrium. They stand at the precipice of risk and reward, their inner world a battlefield where the desire for contentment clashes with the relentless urge to create. Like Jung's artist, the entrepreneur must often sacrifice comfort and certainty for the sake of their vision, a testament to the transformative cost of passion. This narrative exemplifies the spirit of Jung's words, embracing our passions is not merely a search for fulfillment, but a transformative process that reshapes our identity and our reality break free from addictions. Real liberation comes not from glossing over or repressing painful states of feeling, but only from experiencing them to the full. Carl Jung's The Archetypes and the Collective Unconscious. Breaking free from addictions is indeed a transformative journey that Carl Jung understood deeply. He posited that the longing for substances is often a misplaced craving for something much grander. In his letter to Bill Wilson, one of the founders of Alcoholics Anonymous, Jung observed that a particularly difficult patient's craving for alcohol was the equivalent, on a low level, of the spiritual thirst of our being for wholeness expressed in medieval language, the union with God. This profound analogy suggests that our addictions are but a shadow of a much larger quest for completeness within ourselves. In the face of addiction, Jung recognized that true liberation blossoms not from the suppression of painful emotions, but through fully experiencing them. This path, starkly different from traditional avoidance or denial tactics in addiction recovery, invites us to engage directly with the uncomfortable, the painful, and the suppressed aspects of our being. By doing so, Jung implies a journey not just of recovery, but of discovery, of uncovering the vast potential that lies within us, obscured by the veils of our addictions. Confronting these shadows head-on forms the basis of the process of individuation, where overcoming the physical dependencies of our addictions paves the way to fulfilling our innate spiritual hunger for wholeness. Find meaning beyond yourself. In our quest for self-realization, Carl Jung challenges us to transcend our individualism and find meaning in something greater than ourselves 
a journey not of luxury but of necessity for true fulfillment. He asserts, a sense of a wider meaning to one's existence is what raises a man beyond mere getting and spending. If he lacks this sense, he is lost and miserable. Carl Jung, man and his symbols. Imagine a volunteer who spends their weekends nurturing the growth of a community garden. Each seed planted is a commitment to something beyond the individual. This gardener may not gain materially, but finds joy in the act of giving, experiencing a profound connection with nature and neighbors. This connection to a cause greater than oneself, whether it's through nurturing the earth or contributing to community welfare, embodies Carl Jung's call for deeper meaning. Such endeavors lift us out of the mundane cycle of consumption and self-interest, aligning us with the larger interconnected narrative of life. It's in these acts that we often discover a sense of purpose and contentment. Jung's wisdom invites us to embrace these opportunities, enriching not just our lives, but the collective human spirit, reflection, and solitude. In this concluding segment of our exploration, we venture into the intimate realms of introspection, an indispensable pathway to achieving one's true self. Carl Jung's poignant reflection serves as a beacon for this journey. I am no longer alone with myself, and I can only artificially recall the scary and beautiful feelings of solitude. This is the shadow side of the fortune of love. Carl Jung, Liber Novus. Jung articulates a profound dichotomy here, the enriching embrace of love versus the solitary quest for self-discovery. Love, with its warmth and connection, subtly veils the stark introspective solitude that is fertile ground for personal growth. Solitude, as Jung describes, is laced with fear yet brimming with beauty. It confronts us with our innermost shadows, yet in that confrontation lies the potential for profound insight and transformation. This solitary introspection allows us to sift through the layers of our psyche, unveiling our deepest desires, fears, and the essence of our true potential. As we forge ahead, embracing solitude becomes not just an act of withdrawal, but a deliberate, courageous step towards self-enlightenment. In these moments of seclusion, we are invited to reflect deeply, to engage in an honest dialogue with our inner selves. This practice is not an end, but a journey, continually evolving, shaping, and refining our understanding of who we are and what we aspire to be. Thus, solitude, with its intricate dance of shadow and light, becomes an invaluable ally in our quest for authenticity and fulfillment. As we conclude our discussion of how to achieve your true self through the individuation process, remember that this understanding is just the beginning of unraveling the mysteries of the psyche. If today's journey into Jung's concept of individuation has sparked a flame of curiosity within you, let's keep that flame alive by clicking on this video for an introduction to the shadow archetype, where we discover the path to wholeness requires becoming what we are afraid of. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more psychological and philosophical content to improve your quality of life and unlock the mysteries of your inner world.